Welcome to Snack Break, the show in between the shows. And if you were with us last time, you'll remember that I had some very, very unpleasant to mediocre jerky. So uh, I actually am very parched, which is lucky that I have some of these. This is Dry Botanical Bubbly. Um, I found these at... Where did I find these? I think I found these at Fry's in their little discount aisle. And I was, like, really, really floored when I saw these sodas. Mainly because, if you haven't noticed, well, first of all, one is flavored vanilla and one is lavender. So we do have a botanical sort of uh, theme going on here. I think dry is a... Dry is a company, I think based in Seattle, and I think they do uh, they, they do sodas. I don't know if a botanical is sort of a is you know a sub brand of theirs or not, and they just sell under the under the umbrella of Dry. But uh, these are sort of naturally flavored sparkling beverages with other natural ingredients. Oh, wonderful! So we are working with a sort of plant theme. But if you look, and the reason why I picked these up is because of the packaging. The back, uh, first of all, you've got the label here. It's just a really minimalistic square that says dry botanical. Good color choice on the vanilla, being sort of a kind of turquoise that pops against the brown. Uh, same with the white and the sort of, you've got a deep purple and then you sort of have light purple. That's that's fine. But I was very impressed with the vanilla. Um and then, of course, if you take a look at the back of the bottle, or it, the back of the bottle is, you know, all your nutritional facts and labeling, you know. It's a two-sided print, and you see that is an actual vanilla plant um, in a very, very nice uh, decorated style. Uh, same goes with the lavender. It is, it, that is what a lavender plant looks like very nice you can literally drink your older relatives bathrooms now but anyway yeah i was just i was this is one this is one of those foods where it's like oh the packaging is way more interesting than the actual uh well maybe i don't i don't know how i don't know how they taste but i was just like really really this really caught my eye and of course the the bottle caps just sort of got like almost like a pokemon water symbol on the top of it so I thought that was really neat. So let's uh, let's crack these bad boys open and see what they taste like. Okay, uh, this is vanilla because of course we're starting with vanilla first. Uh, it's a, it is a twist top. Okay, so I was gonna say I could be like a real badass and just sort of. Okay, it's fine. It's not that bad. I was a little worried. I had these uh, sitting out in the garage before I put them in the refrigerator. Okay, so let's, uh, hmm. very light vanilla flavor, or smell, actually. Hmm. Very nice. Okay, here we go. This is either going to taste like very, like, bland water, uh, like a, like a LaCroix, or it's going to taste like cleaning fluid. We'll see. Yeah, that's just kind of like a LaCroix. Um, a little little stronger, I would have to say. Not too strong to be like an actual like uh, brown soda. Ooh, wow, that is just bubbling. That is going to town for some reason. I wonder if you can catch that. Yeah, it's just kind of... There, there's just this small pocket at the bottom that is just really going to town. I wonder... That's neat. I should have paid more attention in uh, chemistry to figure out what exactly is going on there. I assume it's just kind of mixing with the, like the oxygen. And... Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Mm. Wow, that was a lot of gas. Mm. Um, it's almost... It's almost like it doesn't want to be chugged because as soon as I put it in my mouth it really starts to fizz but no that is just a very nice light uh, soda 
That's all I got. Now let's try lavender. Because lavender, is, of course, is not a sort of traditional flavor of anything. Ooh, that wanted to pop. Okay, here we go. I mean, I know you, you lavender is more like a, uh, a bathroom scent than it is a, a drink. Yeah, I'm, I'm smelling a little bit of lavender. Uh, not much. It's not, not an overbearing. I could smell the vanilla a little bit. I don't like that. I don't like that. Well, actually, hold on. Huh. It's got a nice aftertaste, which is weird because most beverages that have an aftertaste, I usually don't like it. It has a bad aftertaste. This comes off a little strong. Again, smells a little bit like a bathroom. or laundry um and you don't necessarily want to taste that but it's actually got kind of a, like a sweet little sweet little hint it's it's like a, a, this is definitely like more LaCroix than than anything um but yeah that's that's not bad if you wanted to uh if you just kind of wanted to confuse your house guests a little with a little bit of uh, bubbly water this would be pretty good. Let's uh, see how they are together. Okay, there's a little bit of vanilla. A little bit of the lavender. And I guess sort of the, the last remnants of the coffee I had this morning. Hmm, not bad. It's, it's like a... Uh, it's like a garden section in my mouth. And everyone is browsing. That is not too bad. I would almost like to see how they would handle things like uh, root beer and uh, and birch beer. Birch beer is actually really good. I've had that a few times and I actually prefer it to root beer. I can't really find a brand that, that sticks around long enough. For those who don't know, uh, birch beer, or birch, the flavor, is... Uh, is what they use to make wintergreen. Um, but Lifesavers, I guess, didn't want to, like, call their... the new flavor birch, because, of course, you know, you've got... you've got... because, of course, you don't want to, like... you've got spearmint, peppermint, birch! So, yeah, it doesn't quite roll off the tongue as wintergreen or wintermint or whatever they call it. They called you some sort of bullshit. Um, I think they did. I think it's birch. Unless, unless winter green or winter mint. I think winter green is something. I think winter mint is marketing shenanigans. Anyway, this stuff's very good. I actually, again, I would like to track down some root beer and or birch beer that they'd have to offer. Um, but I, again, I haven't seen this brand around. So I guess it just kind of migrated from Seattle. Not bad, not bad at all.